Well, my last unboxing of the day is the one I've done that whole um, saving the best to last on my personal opinion. Um, I received the um, spring, I was going to say autumn, but no, the spring pyjama box. Now, the pyjama box sign-ups are only open every quarter because we you can spread the cost over the three months, which would be 16 66 a month or £47 if you want to pay it all in one. So we have, um, see, it's seasonal. Um, Sign-ups for the winter box will be opening on the 1st of October. Um, if you want to be notified of that, please pop us a message or an email, either through Facebook um, or or through through our email um, so that I can notify you of when it goes live because the pajama boxes are highly popular. Um, we have very limited spaces when it comes to those boxes because they're such a big undertaking that we can only take a certain amount of subscribers. Um, so here we go. So the boxes are always chock full and will contain, I don't know what's going on here, so will contain pyjamas or nightdress or bedwear or loungewear every month. So I'm going to try and save that part for now. Okay, let's see. <gasps> thing that stands out for me straight away, socks. You can never have too many socks. This is speaking of someone who has three boxes full, you can never have too many socks. Oh, and they have wee dogs on, which is really cute. And sweets, fizzy rainbow belts. I love sour, like fizzy sweets. They're one of the few sweets in this house that I can leave lying around and nobody will steal them, mainly because my fiance is not here to do it and he would 100% thieve them off me. Okay, a makeup sponge. Let's turn it around so you can see it. A little skull on. Let's take that out. I, uh, rubbish at makeup i'm getting married in a year and so i need to oh it's so soft so i need to practice this is a blender yeah that shows how much i know about makeup makeup sponge oh, that's cool it even says what to do and how to use it how very useful good teach my useless not very girly self what to do so I don't have beetroot red face on my wedding day, days. Okay, what do we have here? I'm gonna put the scissors Ugh, out of reach. Okay. Pretty sure I'll just open this at the bottom. Smoothly done, Becky. Oh, it's insect burner. Oh, how cute is that? Ah, it's a little witchy one looking at the cauldron. Wow, that's so detailed. And then obviously the incense goes in the top there. Oh, that's really cute. Bubbling brew. I know exactly where I'm going to put this actually. Not at the moment, but. Oh, that's really cute. So, incense burner. Perfect for relaxing. That's what everything is so far. Oh, Nutella bar, which will be stolen by my son because he's a big Nutella fan. And today was his first day back at, at college. Candles, two pillar candles, black ones. Nice. Can never have too many candles. Bandana. These are great for keeping your hair out your face when you're putting... Um, like uh, sun cream and stuff on. Um, I keep one in uh, in my bag uh, just for that because, well, the weather the way it is at the moment, I don't particularly want to burn. So here we go. I'll get proper pictures of all of these, obviously, afterwards. And vampire blood wax melts, aged in coffins, two hundred and fifty years. Oh, yum. Okay. Does it say what scent it is? Obviously. Oh, dark cherry. I thought there was a cherry smell. My, my nose isn't working amazingly at the moment. That's really cute. Dark cherry wax melts. 120 hours. Nice. 
I love wax melts. I have nine wax melt burners. Nobody needs that many wax melt burners. And, oh, this is stuck to the paper. So, clove and sage soap. I've, uh, oh, that's, yeah, that is yummy. Um, I've taken to using soap a lot more than shower gel recently. I'm trying, trying to be good. Okay. <clears throat> um, oh, wow. Okay, so they're vampire bleeding candles. They're candles that, that bleed, which means they're probably red inside. So when you light them, they'll drip down and it makes it look like they're bleeding. I'll have to get a video of that. I have a, a bottle or something up there somewhere that I can do that with. Um, okay, pyjama time. Right. We have shorts. Yes, needed, necessary. They are nice. Oh, they're a nice thin fabric as well. They look nice and comfy. And the wee wolves. I love wolves. And the top. And a long sleeve top to go with it. That matches. What does it say? Uh, loyal, playful, protective. That is gorgeous. I love the colours. I like um, I like stars and that Aurora Borealis colours. They are so cute. I love them. Uh, so <clears throat> in the pajama box, so that's forty-seven pound total. We got pajamas, um, vampire wax melts, skull scar, spooky makeup sponge, socks, spooky soap bar. Did she have to put so many S's in? Bubbling cauldron, vampire bleeding candles, and sweets. Um, the box itself is forty-seven pound total. Our box is worth eighty-two ninety-two. So you're looking at almost forty pounds. So basically, you're paying for the pajamas and like the socks, and then everything else is pretty much free. It's kind of how it works out. So definitely, definitely recommend that you sign up to the pajama box when um when signups open, which will be uh, the first of next month. And the autumn pajama box are due to leave um, in October. Now we do take international subscribers for the pajama box, but um, you will have to pay postage and please bear in mind that uh, there will be some contents that we won't be able to include if it's liquids plus with them being seasonal um, depending on where you are it may not necessarily fit your season um, and they may take a little bit longer to arrive um, but I highly highly recommend the pajama box it's a it's a nice coarsely little treat um, any questions that you have uh, with regards to this box or any of our other boxes, just pop us a message.